Hello everyone and welcome once again to Andy's Smart Life. So I bet you thought I was going to talk about all the new Apple products that were announced at their spring or whatever it was uh, event this week. Um, no, uh, I'm not a huge Apple fan and to be honest, other than their little tracking tile, there wasn't really all that much that I thought was particularly that innovative. They have some cool new hardware out. The only one that I kind of really caught my eye was the tracker. It's kind of Apple's version of the tile tracker to track your keys and so on and so forth, which is pretty cool um, and well worth checking out. But I suspect it's only going to work with Apple devices because that's the way Apple roll. So instead this week I wanted to talk about SwitchBot uh, and you may have seen these advertised because they are advertising them everywhere. Where these are the new curtain um, robots. So SwitchBot, as you've seen on the channel before, do those little button pushing robots. They do temperature sensors. Um, they also do a smart humidifier. But one of the other things they've done is they've done this, which attaches to your blinds or your curtains um, and allows you to automate them. Now there's three different versions of this. There's one for a rod and there's two other ones, depending on the type of rail that you have. Um, and it's very important to make sure that you get the correct one for your particular curtains. I myself have blinds and this is going to pose a problem because these are not specifically designed for the type of blinds that I have or the type of rail that I have. So SwitchBot are probably not going to be happy because I'm mucking around with this knowing full well it's probably not going to work. So I'm very quickly going to unbox this today, show you it, see if I can retrofit it onto my blinds and give you some thoughts about it. Um, if you have the hub that SwitchBot do as well, you can also voice control with this. So I wanted to show you it very quickly. Um, so let's get started. So I have been looking forward to trying this out for a while. I love SwitchBot's products and this one is the SwitchBot curtain now. So before I go any further, I will just point out this is meant for curtains um, I have horizontal blinds it is not meant for those but the rail the U rail that this is meant for is very is the same as for blinds or for curtains and um, the only thing I'm concerned about is that this is going to jut out or push out the blinds or it's just not going to fit behind the blinds um, so I decided to give this a chance and try it out but SwitchBot, if you're watching this, I know that I'm not using this as I'm supposed to, so I'm com completely aware of that fact. Um, I'm not going to do this 100% justice, or potentially not going to do this 100% justice. So let's just rip open the tab at the top here um, and open this up. So uh, let's see what we have. So I've already taken out the instructions. So there's um, SwitchBot guide uh, and actually ways to contact them, and it does specify the type of U-rail that this is meant for. Mine is in these dimensions, so that's okay. As I said, the main issue I'm gonna have is that because it's not curtains, they're not pleated and they're not, there's gonna be nothing for it to hide behind. Um, and then the full instructions for the SwitchBot itself. Um, it's fairly straightforward as they always are for SwitchBot. But the, the only th criticism I have about these SwitchBot curtains is that there's three different versions depending on whether or not you have a U-rail um, or a uh, a rod or whatever it is um, and I know engineering wise they have to do this but it would it would be great if it was one size fits all and then you put on the correct attachments so I don't know if it's possible to buy the additional attachments if I ever change um, my blinds or curtain rails but for the moment I haven't seen that so um, you do have to buy the specific one for the type of blind or curtain that you have um, so this is the main body of the device it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It looks in photos and videos a lot bigger, but that's actually quite niche and quite small. Um, and then it has the, the little whoo, the little motor, which I've just triggered there, so it must be switched on. Maybe I hit the button. Yes, there's a button behind here to turn it on and off um, and to reset it. And I'm glad it's, it's USB-C here on the back. The other thing to note is that it is possible to get a um, uh, an attachment for this that's solar panels so or solar powered so you never need to charge these and basically it connects in there um, hooks onto the top um, and solar powers this so you never need to worry about it um, and then this is the other side so the idea behind this is that you keep these two parts separated you put it up into the the rail and then you twist it shut until these little hook things with the little wheels actually grip onto the rail and then you snap these two shut um, and then this will roll back and forth to open and close your blind so that's the device so, so i'm slightly concerned that my, my blinds are pretty heavy so that the motor in this may struggle a little bit pushing the, the blinds open um, and i'd say with heavier curtains as well you may need to consider if you have center parting uh, curtains to get two of these um, other than that though they can be set to do either left or right opening um, and then the last thing in the box Oh, it's one more thing. Um, there's a USB-C cable for charging it. 
And then there is one more little thing. And if you've ever opened up, up the electronic components before, you'll see, have seen these before. Um, this is a little pick to actually um, separate the parts. So when you clip this side on, um, you'll need to actually use this to get it back off again if you ever need to. So it's a quite, here, I'll just put it on to demonstrate there. So that's the whole device put together. Quite small and neat, um, quite cool. Um, yeah, I've turned it off now, so um, we'll turn it back on. Um, and the reason this moved as I touched it is because there is a feature that if you forget that you have this installed or somebody who doesn't know it's installed and they start pulling your blinds, um, it senses that and it, it kind of does a push to open or pull to open. So you start pulling and then this does the rest of the work, which is why it started moving there. So it's just searching there, looking for um, the app and looking for my network. So I'll set it up on the phone next. So I'm just gonna open up the SwitchBot app on my phone. And I have a few SwitchBot products in here, plus at the top right. Um, oh, and it's already detected the, the curtain, which is really cool. Um, if not, you can hit curtain and it says, um, long press the button for two seconds and the LED light starts flashing. So um, let's do that now. One, two. Um, but it has actually already picked it up, so I'm gonna click on it. Start pairing, so it's giving me the same screen again. Okay, and it's picked up my curtain, so I'm just gonna call it, um, I'm gonna call it um, living room blind. Um, I'll say living room, oh yeah, so blind. Cool, and next, communicating with the device. And then it gets me to choose which type of rail it is. Is it a U-rail, a rod, or an I-rail? So it's a U-rail that I have. And it gives me the option of either seeing pictures of how to install it or a video guide as to how to install it. So it's quite, it's quite clever. The only thing I found with the video is that if you don't watch it, if you don't keep tapping your screen, the screen turned off. Um, but that's just the, the settings on my phone. So it actually shows you how to attach it. Okay, so I know how to do that. So it's a U-rail. Um, we'll just say video guide and then choose open mode is the next step. So I'm gonna choose mine's gonna open from left to right. Um, you can have it from right to left and then open in the middle. So if you open from the middle, um, you need two curtains, do you wanna continue? Um, I'm gonna do left to right. So left to right, go to calibration. Okay, so let me install this on the rail then and calibrate it fully. Um, it's the video, as I said, showed you how to actually clip it into the U rail. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna install this on my rail. And the idea is that you install it between the first and second, um, well, loop if you had curtains, obviously, as I said, this is a blind. So um, you put it in at an angle first, and you catch it on to your rail, pull it down slightly so that the little extendable clips give you space, and that's it on. Um, now, my concern was that when I close this, yeah, it's gonna jut out, because obviously this is a blind, it's gonna... Now, what I could do is I could fold this one or move this one in front of it. Okay, that's not perfect, but it is hidden-ish. Um, and I can still pull this across and open and close it with the wand. Um, I am going to show something in a, in a few weeks time that will allow you to control the wand side, but it's just not available yet. So back in the SwitchBot app, I go to the calibration. So I'm doing from left to right. Okay. And go to calibration. So I calibrated it by moving it all the way over to the right. So now it's fully open. Well, it's as open as I'm going to get it. As I was worried about, um, when it got to a certain point, the blind just got too heavy and the motor started to struggle to actually push the rest of the blind closed. So let's see about opening. So basically to calibrate, you put it all the way open, uh, pause it, and then bring it all the way back to close. So I'm just gonna get ready to pause just as it reaches the end here. And it will then remember what open and close settings are. So there, okay. So it's pretty cool. Look, I, I'd say if you had blinds, if sorry, if you had curtains that these were designed for, um, this would work really, really well. And there's a few other things that you can set. You can, if you have the solar panel, for example, you can set light sensing and whatever else. Um, you can set a schedule, um, but I'm not gonna worry too much about those for the moment. 
What is also cool is uh, if you have the hub, the SwitchBot hub, um, which communicates with their infrared blaster and communicates with their uh, temperature sensors and the bots themselves, you can then use your home assistant to open and close uh, the curtains. Open living room blind. So did this work out? Um, it actually worked better than I thought it was going to work because, you know, I, I bought these just to test and see if I could get them working on my blinds, knowing full well that that's not what they were meant for um, and that they really need a curtain to hide behind and that my blinds are quite heavy and there was a load of challenges and my U-Rail wasn't quite the specification they were looking for. So to have got this working at all is pretty cool. To be honest as well, I don't really open my blinds fully like that very often. I have a tendency just to move um, them from, you know, from closed to open that way and not really pull them across. So it's a nice thing to have and it's definitely a nice thing to have tried, but I think these are gonna suit somebody with curtains better. So if you do have blinds and you were looking at these and wondering if it would work, chances are it's not going to, but you know, this, sometimes these things are trial and error um, and I wanted to try this out, show you guys if it worked or not. And yes, I suppose. Um, but for the moment, this is not really a pro proper option. There are other types of motors out there for blinds and for curtains, and I'd, I'd highly advise you to check them out. I've talked about Zemi Smart on this channel before, and Zemi Smart do one, um, but it is kind of meant for blinds with rails and chains. So if you have a chain on your blind, there are lots of options out there from little motors that's, that sit on top of that chain and actually rotate it for you um, to removing the blind rail completely and installing a smart blind rail. Guys, thanks very much for watching if you have any questions on this please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below um, as always follow me on any of the social medias if you have anything about any other videos on the channel um, please do let me know as well but other than that bye bye for now